For as iconic as the graham cracker is, um, for users of the uh, Texas Instruments TI-99 uh, home computer, um, for all of the history surrounding it and all of the, uh, <clears throat> the great things about it, there is very little out there in video of how this thing works, what it does, how it operates, so on and so forth. So this is mine. This is my uh, graham cracker right here. I've got it plugged into my console. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, how to do a few things with it. Some of the some of the biggest um, some of the the main things that people would do with these um, back in the day before we had SD cartridges and multi carts and things like that is they would use the graham cracker to save uh, modules. They would take a uh, they would take a game cartridge. They would plug it in right here, and they would actually be able to rip it to disc. <clears throat> and so you could save um, you could save all kinds of uh, cartridges onto a disc, and then you could distribute that disc <clears throat> to anybody that has a gram device, and they could play all the different cartridges and stuff um, without having to have the cartridges, which was fantastic. <clears throat> Another thing you could do with it was you could take those cartridges and you could modify them. You could modify um, the cartridges to uh, have different titles. You could change the graphics. You could also use the built-in memory editor to edit the actual operating system of the TI, um, which was really neat. Uh, and I'm going to show a couple of things here on this video. I'm going to try to cover a few of the different things that you can do. Um, first and foremost, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, power this on, and I'll show you the modified... Uh, the modified title screen that I've put together. So here's the settings. You get the normal the setting on the left in normal mode and right here this is the big one uh, the second switch. You can either launch it in the standard TI operating system or you can launch it in uh, Gram Zero which is basically a modified Grom Zero that is stored in here and um, it will boot into that modified operating system. Um, the next one we're not going to deal with today, uh, the, the next one is the Bank 1 and Bank 2 with the Write Protect. You're going to use this when you're editing memory because um, when you're editing memory you can't be in Write Protect mode because Write Protect mode is a mode that will not allow you to, um, to write over uh, memory. Uh, so you'll have to go from Bank 1 to Bank 2 and, and the Graham Cracker is fairly intuitive on how to do that. And then this is the loader over here. We won't mess with that very much, but uh, you'll see here pretty quickly um, how interesting this little piece of equipment is. So we'll go ahead and power on the system, and you'll be able to see my title screen. And those of you who are familiar with, um, with the TI know that this is not quite what it's supposed to look like. Um, this right here used to say, ready, press any key. And this right here... Um, well, obviously it wasn't 2018, I put that in there myself, so I believe it was 1981. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and I'm also going to show you how to edit um, cartridges and save cartridges to disk using your Gram, uh, Gram device, in this case our Gram Cracker. And we'll talk about a few different things, and, and uh, hopefully those of you that may have one or have picked one up in collecting and haven't got much use out of it will be able to learn a few things today on what we do. Uh, with this device and um, we will uh, we'll have some fun so that's what it's all about so we're gonna have some fun with this device today and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video and hopefully you learn something from it Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do <clears throat> is we're going to want to initialize our module space. And what that means is um, there's a 56K chunk of RAM inside of this machine, inside of this uh, piece of hardware here, that allows you to store cartridges and modules. And we're going to want to initialize that space so that, um, so that we can uh, manipulate, save, and do things like that. So, we're going to go into our graham cracker mode here 
and we're going to initialize the module space, which is three. Now it's important that when you start this up that you have the settings just like this. Normal mode, um, whether it's in gram zero or operating system doesn't really matter. Um, TI basic selected, right protect on and loader on. So when you hit three for initialize the module space, it's going to say enable bank one and then press spacebar. So down here in our right protect, uh, switch, we're going to go to bank one, okay, and then we're going to hit spacebar. Now it wants us to enable bank two and then press spacebar. So we go back down here to our switch, enable bank two, and press the spacebar. Restore the right protect and press spacebar to continue. So go from bank two to right protect, which is the middle position, and hit the spacebar. Okay. We now have 56k of space in um, in our uh, graham cracker to, stay, to store modules. So let's hit the reset button right here. You just push that to the down and it resets it. Okay, we still have our um, our modified operating system. And here's graham cracker right here, okay? So in order for us to be able to save, load, manipulate data um, in our module space, we are going to need um, to do a few things. In order for us to load a module or to save a module, um, since we're going to be doing it for disk, we need to have our disk systems turned on. Right now I don't have anything on. So here in a minute we're going to turn our disk systems on and we are going to try to take a cartridge off of our cartridge shelf. Let's pick, let's pick a cartridge here. Now let's see. We'll do, um, let's do Munchman, okay? So Munchman here. So we're going to take Munchman and uh, we're gonna plug it into here. Plugs right in there. And then we're gonna save the contents of that to disk. Uh, and then we're gonna see what uh, what that means. We'll show exactly how to do that. We'll show how to load it back into the system and then we'll edit a little bit and have some fun. Okay? So that's the next step. Alright, as you can hear, <clears throat> I have my expansion box running and my three and a half inch drive bay running here. Uh, I do not have the quiet fan, so it is quite loud um, when I have this thing turned on. So what we're going to do is we've, we've just plugged in Munchman to the top here. It plugs right in, okay? And uh, we have everything set up okay. Nothing wrong there. We're going to take a look. There's Graham Cracker. Uh, that's our loader for our Graham Cracker operating system and two for Munchman. So let's just make sure Munchman's operating properly. Press any key to begin. Yep. Much man is functioning as it should. Okay. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reset the system again. Okay. And now we're going to take this program, this, this cartridge, and we're going to rip it. We're going to uh, rip this cartridge to disk. So we go into Graham Cracker. And we're going to save a module. That's what we're going to do. We're going to save the contents of this cartridge to disk 2. That's our plan. So we've already initialized our module space. We'll need that in a minute. We don't need that right now. So we're going to save a module. Restore right protect and press spacebar. So we're going to make sure that right protect is on. And it is. So we'll hit spacebar. It's asking what we want to call this. So we're going to call it disk2, which is the path, and we're going to call it munch. Okay, oh, I have to have these in capitals. Disk2.munch. Okay, that's what we want. So we're going to hit enter. And it is writing.
takes a minute. Okay, so what it does here, what it actually did was it took the contents of the ROM <clears throat> in Munchman and it copied it byte by byte to um, to our disk. And it added a small header to it so the, the graham cracker can recognize it. Okay, so now we have it saved to disk. Okay, that's very important. So now that it's saved, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is we're going to load this module back into our initialized cartridge space. So in order to do that, we must turn off the computer. We're going to remove Munchman. Okay, so it has now been removed. <clears throat> it still exists in our disk. So now we are going to go into our graham cracker operating system. We are going to load a module. The path is going to be disk munch enter. Loading, pulling from disk, loading, enable bank 2 and then press the space bar. So down here, bank 2, press the space bar, enable bank 1, press the space bar. It's continuing the loading process here. Restore right protect, which is right here back into the center position and press the space bar. Okay, so now if everything works properly, we should be able to hit the reset button and we will have Munchman on our, um, on our title, or actually on our select menu. So let's try it, let's go reset. When I press the button, we should have Graham Cracker Loader and Munchman. There it is, it's not in the system. It is saved in the module space, so let's push it and make sure it operates. Okay. So you can see how this uh, brought up some copyright and privacy concerns uh, for the folks um, back in the day. Uh, there were a lot of um, there were a lot of people concerned about that and thought that. The, uh, the graham cracker was a was a pirate vessel <clears throat> and in a lot of ways it kind of was because user groups people would uh, would rip all of these all their cartridges to disk and they would just distribute the disk amongst the users and they wouldn't have to purchase the games but by this time by the time the, the graham cracker came out TI was well out of the home computer market and um, basically it was just uh, folks sharing stuff like uh, person-to-person -person file sharing today so um, interesting how that works so <clears throat> here in just a couple minutes when we come back I'm going to show you how we can have some more fun with this and we can edit uh, Munchman to uh, do some fun stuff so hang tight we'll be right back one more thing before I turn all this stuff uh, start editing the memory I want to uh, turn this off I want to show you that you do not need any disk drives or, th or uh, external memory to uh, run the, um, the new module in the module space here. So this is just plain, nothing on except the TI. And um, we still have Munchman loaded into the RAM contained in here and we can play it. So you don't need your disk drives or 32K or anything like that in order to play um, in order to play your modules. Um, the only thing that you need is your TI and your Graham Cracker. Your Graham Cracker contains the battery backed RAM that, that uh, stores this, um, this information right here. So um, just something I wanted to show you real quick so that there was no confusion. Uh, you do not need a disk drive or um, or um, 32k memory uh, to play these games once it's loaded into the system. So, next thing we'll do is we'll edit some memory.
Okay, in order to use the memory editor um, in, that's stored within the graham cracker itself, um, you do have to have 32K external memory to do the editing. Once it's edited, uh, you don't need it anymore. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the graham cracker operating system and we're going to select 5 for edit memory. Now, this may look weird, this may not look very intuitive, but it's quite simple. Um, there's uh, there's multiple different uh, ways that we can uh, edit memory, but what we're going to do today is we're going to go into the cartridge RAM area, which is in G6000. Okay, and 6000 is the header, is the start of um, your cartridge space. Okay, so what it's doing is it's looking into the cartridge uh, itself that's stored in here, and it is showing the bytes in order. So at the very start, you can see um, right here, Munchman, where it says Munchman right here. Now th what this actually is, and um, you may not uh, be familiar with it, but this is actually the, the selection name. So when you click uh, any key at the title menu and it takes you to your selection where you select between graham cracker and your cartridge This is the part of the, of the cartridge ROM that says what you're going to see on that screen So we can actually change this to say whatever we want um, So let's think of something here uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter let's change it to anything in order to do the editing, however, you cannot be in write protect mode. Okay, right now we're in write protect mode, so we have to switch it to one of the banks. We'll go to bank one, and we can edit this. So let's change it to say pack. We pad it with spaces there. So one thing to remember when you're doing the editing here is that uh, if you're editing text, you can always um, pad it with spaces. But if you try to go more, if you try to put more text than is originally there, it can sometimes chew into some important memory and you can find yourself in La La Land. Um, so we changed it to Pac-Man. Okay. So now let's put it back in write protect mode. And we'll go back. Okay, so now we're going to reset the system, and when we hit reset, when I click a button, it should say, it should not say Munchman anymore, it should say Pac-Man. There it is. So if we hit 2, obviously it's not going to be Pac-Man, it's going to be our Munchman again. So, Okay, so that's a very simple thing that we can do. <clears throat> we can also get much more um, in-depth, we can also get much more... Um, we can get much deeper into this game. We can change graphics, we can change colors, we can change uh, whatever we want. So let's just make one more small change here. So let's go to edit memory again. And we'll go back to G6000. We'll see where our edit was there, right there, Pac-Man. So in order to go from the field up top to the actual memory field, you push function nine. And that drops your cursor down into the field and use the arrow keys to scroll through. So, I don't know exactly where all the information is in this cartridge, but because we are in um, ASCII mode, we can actually go through until we find more readable text. We can just scroll down. It kind of looks like the matrix. None of this looks like text. Score. Test score. Your score. Demo score. High score. Are you ready? Okay, this looks like one we can change. Okay, so let's change are you ready? Because that looks like something that we would see regularly. So again, we must go into, we must disable write protect. We'll go into bank one again. And uh, we'll type in Go time.
Okay. So we'll restore right protect. So now instead of saying, are you ready? It's gonna say it's go time, okay? So we'll go back into this field, we'll hit reset. And let's see where we find that. So let's go number two. Press any key to begin. It's go time. Do you see that right down there at the bottom? So we have just essentially edited this game to be something other than what it was. Now this is a very simple edit. We haven't gone into colors or graphics or anything yet, but um, but you can see how um, how fun this could get. Uh, you can do all kinds of different things with it. So what we'll do now is we will um, reset it. Okay. Now just to show that uh, that everything is as we say it is, we're going to shut it off. We're going to turn off our expansion box. We're going to turn off our external disk drive. And then we're going to fire it up <clears throat> from clean. And we'll see if all of our changes are still there. Even though the 32K is turned off, we should still have all the changes there. So Pac-Man, press any key, it's go time, right there. Okay, so as you can see, um, we have taken a cartridge, we have ripped it to a disc. Um, we have loaded that cartridge back to the graham cracker, and we have used the editor to edit that cartridge. now. Um, you can do some fairly nefarious things here. Um, you can find out where the where your score is located, where it keeps track of that score, and you can put, you know, 999,999 in there, and then take a screenshot of it and uh, submit it as a high score for a high score competition. But what would the fun be in that? Uh, anyway, as I said, really the whole, the whole goal behind showing you this stuff on the video is that um, this piece of equipment is uh, is fantastic, and it, it's uh, it's not easy to find. It's not easy to get. It's sometimes fairly expensive, but uh, but it does some fant uh, fantastic things. And, and what I've shown you is a lot of surface stuff. This this device can be used to do so many uh, so much more, so many different things. And there are uh, manuals out there and um, things to show you how to actually modify TI Basic to <clears throat> add new calls to TI Basic and uh, do things of, uh, of that nature and really just some really neat stuff. Let's listen. That's an interesting. I didn't know that uh, Munchman had that chime in it. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the Graham Cracker. So I suggest you find a retailer um, near you that sells the Miller Graphics Graham Cracker and uh, pick one up. Uh, I wish they still cost the same that they did back in the late 80s, but unfortunately they do not. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll do some more on the Graham Cracker later in a later date. And going forward, we will uh, we'll have some more fun with this. And um, I'll probably bring it to some Chicago user group meetings and we'll just have some fun playing with things. So. Anyway, um, this is me signing off. Thank you for watching, and um, come on back for some more interesting, fun videos.